Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We've been looking at God's blueprint, God's design for us as God's people. And this is something uh, like a blueprint, uh, what a blueprint does when we look at the design that God has for us, we can develop ourselves into, into it and we can build ourselves into the picture that God has for us because that's His will, that's His plan and that's His desire. So today we are looking at uh, God's uh, picture or God's design that He has for us and He calls us as the army, as His army. In other words, we are the army of God. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 verse 25, Paul writes to um, uh, uh, the church in Philippi and he says, Yet I considered it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker and fellow soldier. Again, in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 18, um, this charge I commit to you, son Timothy, according to the prophecies previously made concerning you, that by them you may wage the good warfare. So we see that there are a lot of military terms, soldier, warfare, and so on. And in a spiritual sense, we are the army of God, which means that as individuals, as soldiers in the army, we are engaged in spiritual conflict. So as we live, we live with a sense of spiritual militancy, knowing how to resist the enemy, who is the devil, knowing how to discern his schemes by being strategic and by being aware and knowing how to overcome the temptations and other schemes of the enemy and giving them no access in our lives. So that is how we live as soldiers in the army of God. Right? So as soldiers in the army, we need to know that we are armed and dangerous to the enemy. Do we have that revelation that we are actually armed? We are armed with the armor of God. We are armed with the resources that God brings our way. And we are indeed dangerous to the works, to the enemy himself. Right? And we need to know that we have weapons that are mighty in God. And now these are spiritual weapons. These are not carnal weapons or earthly weapons. These are heavenly weapons, spiritual weapons. And we, are, uh, we need to know that we have weapons that that really damage and uh, create confusion in the enemy's ranks. These are spiritual weapons. And we need to know, most importantly, how to use these spiritual weapons. Now God resources us, God gives us these, but we need to know how to use them in battle. And we need to be strategic because our lives needs to be lived, need to be lived purposefully and strategically as a soldier would live, uh, uh, live his life or her life. We need to take care of the wounded as the army of God. There are maybe casualties, you know, people who fall by the wayside and we need to take care as the army does. Uh, we need to take care of the wounded. Um, we need to celebrate our victories as well as the army, as the Lord gives us victory and the Lord leads us in battle into victory. Um, so it is important for us as the army of God, as a soldier, uh, in Christ, in the army, to know the word, to engage in prayer, intercession, worship, and to maintain our focus on the Lord Jesus. And all that we saw here is very, very important. All that we see here is very important. The instructions for us as uh, the army of God, as soldiers engaged in spiritual conflict. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that we are called to this. We are called to battle. And this battle is not carnal, but it's spiritual. And Lord, we pray that, um, that even as we conform ourselves to this image, God, that you would prepare us, equip us, train us, God, that we would know that we have been resourced, that we have been weaponized, uh, Lord, by you. And Lord, we have been given spiritual weapons to wage this spiritual warfare. We thank you that you are with us and you go before us. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.